Hey, hey, hey everyone, UEBS2Hub here. As many of you guys know, people who might be returning to my channel, you might know that one of my common themes is, you know, X amount of whatever good guys versus 1 million zombies. However, we have this turned around with 10,000 of the nastiest, most gruesome looking slicer zombies versus 1 million cute little battle ducks. So that being said, let's go ahead, get this party started. And mind you, these are some nasty Mamma Jamma Slicer Zombies. And they are just up along this entire line, this entire front. Now eventually they will be surrounded once these Battle Ducks from the back start to filter in. But we already have 20,000 deaths, now 25,000, in favor of the... Slicer zombies. Can't even speak! The way these things fight is just so gruesome too, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have played Bioshock, but uh, do you remember the spider splicers? That's kind of what these guys remind me of. Them plus some nasty, maybe like the tyrant from Resident Evil. Uh, it just kind of reminds me somewhat of a combination of the two. But we already have four of the, uh, I was going to say spider splicers, of the slicer zombies dead. Now it's up to seven. I'm wondering where that is. It's likely to be here on the side, so who knows? The zombies may yet lose, even though, of course, they are annihilating the battle ducks. Now, if you guys want, actually, I do have a gameplay of, I think, tens of thousands of these slicer zombies versus a fortified city. I'll try to link that down below, but definitely check that out if you guys want to see it. It's actually a really interesting uh, match and went like 20 minutes and uh, long story short, it went down to the wire. I won't tell you exactly who won, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was genuinely very surprising and an extremely close match for what it was. Now, as you can see here, it looks like the spider, or the, uh, I keep wanting to call them the spider splicers. It looks like the slicer zombies are being cornered here on the side of the map, and they are being outnumbered where they are weakest. So that is definitely a concern. And once this group goes, this entire group of uh, slicer zombies, and they will from the outside in, that's how it always works. You'll start seeing it shrink and shrink and shrink. Once that happens, of course, these guys are going to be able to go and peel off and help defend. I get it. But the problem is, they can only do it for so long. And then, this hole opens up right here. And then this hole opens up here. And then, like this guy who's on the edge right here, he's in front. Now, instead of facing one or two, he's got to face four or five. And it just gets really really difficult really quick so even though of course these slicer zombies are like annihilating absolutely annihilating these battle ducks as of current who knows that could that could change let me know in the comments below what you guys think is gonna happen but I'm genuinely a little bit curious here because I have no idea this is the first time I'm running this I did not do like any prep simulation, so to speak, as I'm sure some people do on their channels. I mean, I've done it before, but uh, this is not one of those times. This is legitimately a mystery to me as to who is going to win. We already have over 300 of the zombies dead, although against 300,000 battle ducks. But as you can see, it still looks like an unlimited amount of battle ducks. Let's just go ahead and get on the line of battle ducks. Possess one. Can you imagine just running through your, you know, through the crowd with your buddies? You're just like, bah, 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 you know, whatever they say here. They just say whatever the heck they want. Scribble, scrabble, I'm a duck. And they just get put up against this huge line of genetically mutated zombies. Post-mortem genetically mutated, mind you. But here we have it. We are starting to see it where this line is breaking. The outer defenses are breaking. 
And what happens when this entire group starts collapsing inwards? Because, of course, these zombies, even though they are incredibly quick and powerful and agile, they can only attack one side at a time. But if they get attacked by two sides simultaneously, we'll have to wait and see. Now let's go ahead and check out what's happening over here. I'll zoom back down. But this line looks like pretty much the same thing over and over and over and over again. Um, so this looks more or less identical, although in theory the line is holding slightly better. Um, although, of course, it is just now collapsing as I'm getting over here. So, we'll have to wait and see, but 10% of the zombies are gone. And one of the key things is, you always have to remember, this is something that I learned way back when, uh, when I was, you know, playing StarCraft when I was a kid, is that what happens is that, you know, for example, you could have 50 Zerglings, right? But the thing is, is that, or not 50 Zerglings, but like, let's say... Uh, 10 Protoss, right? Or 10, 10 Zealots. And they have to fight against however many Zerglings, right? But the thing is, is that once one of the... the pro Like, you only have a very finite amount of Protoss. And albeit, 1 million is still a finite amount of Battle Ducks. But let's say if you have, like, 10 Zealots, right? And they're facing against, I don't know, 60 Zerglings. Those Zerglings will keep popping in. And the thing is, it's all about ratios. How many Zealots are facing, you know, per per Zergling, essentially? Or, I don't know, what, whatever a good match is, right? And then, let's say you get down to nine. Now, all of a sudden, the space that that Zealot occupied is now occupied by a Zergling. Which then is going to kill another Zealot even quicker. Which means that the Zealots now kill fewer Zerglings, but they're being killed faster themselves. And that's kind of what we're having happen here, right? So these guys, even though, again, they only have 44% remaining of the Battle Ducks, the thing is, is that, comparatively, they have unlimited resources. And so what's happening is that they're surrounding these guys, and they're completely, they're just destroying them faster and faster and faster. Now, we'll have to wait and see if that actually does anything. Quite honestly, this front line is holding far better than I expected. The sidelines, a bit better than I expected as well, but this front line, way better than I expected. Um, way better, as a matter of fact. I kind of expected that there'd be a far fewer zombies still left. Now, one of the... Uh, I guess you could say problems here is probably one of the bigger advantages that the zombies have is that they are on hold orders. Battle ducks are not. Actually, no. Are the zombies on? No, they're not on hold orders. What am I saying? It looks like they are because they're not really moving all too much, but uh, they are on attack order. So they are peeling off to defend when they can. But as you can see, this might be where it starts shifting a bit because they're still, I mean, like. You put yourself in one of these zombies' positions. It still almost looks like an unlimited amount of zombies. Or, um, battle ducks, rather. So as these zombies have to get peeled away from the front, there's fewer and fewer to actually move towards the front, which means that this is then going to be engulfed. And then this is already starting to open up here. I mean, they are on single digits now. And in no more than a few seconds, we should start... Once this guy dies, we're going to start seeing Battle Ducks pouring in. And now taking on the zombies. You know, two on one, three on one, four... However many on one. Whereas now, you know, before was a, a more favorable ratio in favor of the zombies. So, let's just go ahead and scroll through, see how this line is doing. It appears that the other side is almost universally doing worse. I mean, over here... We still have a relatively dense layer of zombies, right? Like, three, four, five, six zombies thick. Sometimes, like, what is that, up to ten? In some instances, so it's still doing okay. And the amount of battle ducks getting around is not nearly as bad as it is here. And it looks like the center line of battle ducks is gone. 
So we will start to see... Wow, the Slicers annihilating the Battle Ducks from here on out. So I think, being that the Splicers seem like they have broken through first, they are going to be the winners, but it is not too fast. Or it couldn't come soon enough for the Slicers, because as you can see, these Battle Ducks are starting to break through. This is the first line I would consider the first break in the main line and probably the only break against the slicers but this entire flank this entire portion of the front line is probably thinnest as compared to let's say i'll just call it the left side over there but as you can see we do have these slicers just being completely surrounded but to no avail because the slicers are going to now start surrounding these battle ducks. So let's just go ahead, zoom out a little bit. Something I want to do a bit earlier is just kind of zoom out. Or maybe like kind of get a little bit closer and just stop commenting and let this thing play out as it is. Because this quite honestly is one of the more interesting battles I've ever done. Because... I had no idea how it would go because all it would take, like, let's say if these battle ducks were 15% faster or uh, more powerful, like, in terms of damage and uh, health, they could have completely overwhelmed the slicers. I mean, it's, I really feel like there was a tipping point that was almost broken. Almost broken. But the slicers are coming through. But... We'll have to wait and see exactly how many Slicers actually survive this, or if you want to call them surviving. So let's just go ahead, zoom out, and maybe put this in a more favorable view so you guys can see it more favorably, and uh, stop commenting and just let it happen. So it appears as though the other side is actually doing substantially better, quite honestly, than this side. This side is still, of course, doing okay, but one has to wonder, are they going to be able to actually fend off all these battle ducks? Are we going to see this group of battle ducks duking it out against that group of slicers? I'm not entirely sure because these guys might actually be surrounded by the remnant battle ducks. Though, of course, we did have around a 20 to 1 ratio in favor of the Battle Ducks before. Now it's just about 11 to 1. So, who knows? I mean, this might be enough just to destroy all these uh, Battle Ducks. All these Slicers may be enough. We'll have to wait and see. But, it's a pretty interesting match.
So believe it or not, the Slicer Zombies have made it all the way from the other side to fight against these Battle Ducks, which is just completely crazy in my opinion. I was not expecting that because, I mean, to be fair, even though these guys I think would have been able to mop up the Battle Ducks, they have been struggling pretty damn hard, but these guys are going to be the final tsunami. I mean, they are wiping out the Battle Ducks in a uh, much quicker fashion than these Slicers could have done. For whatever reason, it just seemed like this side of Slicers was much weaker than the other side, but if you look at it like this, the Battle Ducks have destroyed nearly 70% of the Slicers. So again, if they had maybe 15% more damage, maybe slightly faster attack speed, I really think that they could have won this, maybe. You know, genuinely. Maybe even a little bit of uh, melee armor. That's it. It's just, it's that easy. It's that close. Because even though you might say to yourself, well, you know, you know they only destroyed 70-ish or 67% of the slicers. They may have done that, but guess what? If you're only destroying, like, 10% of an enemy team, that's one thing. But if you're getting to, like, 60, 70, 80% territory, all you need is a very slight stat change. And I could really send it over the cliff. But that being said, of course, it looks like these slicers have not only won, but they won big time. They have a lot of ducks to be eating today. But either way, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this type of video. In the comments below, but either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.